Step back into the world of 1982 with T.J. Hooker, a TV series that brought the gritty streets of law enforcement to the small screen. Starring a classic Hollywood actor whose charisma was hard to ignore, the show follows the life of a determined police officer as he navigates the challenges of crime in the city. But here's the twist, did you know there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about the show that might just surprise you. Keep watching, and you might uncover some lesser-known anecdotes that will leave you intrigued. Now, here's a question for you. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this TV series? Share your thoughts, and let's reminisce about the good old days of television. And speaking of memories, do you have any cherished moments or personal experiences related to T.J. Hooker? We'd love to hear your stories. Drop them in the comments below. Your nostalgia might just resonate with others who share the same fondness for this classic series. So buckle up for a journey down memory lane filled with gripping stories and unexpected twists. TJ Hooker has more to offer than meets the eye, and we're here to unravel it together. Share your thoughts and memories now. TJ Hooker, the 1982 TV series, garnered mixed reviews during its run. Some viewers hailed it as the best cop show ever, praising the performances of Adrian Zemed, Heather Locklear, James Darren, and William Shatner. They found the episodes consistently exciting, filled with action. However, the show was lamentably canceled prematurely. On the flip side, there were dissenting opinions. One viewer considered it an okay show, nothing particularly special. They pointed out what they perceived as biased self-praise from William Shatner, contrasting it with Heather Locklear's standout performance. The show, for this viewer, served as a passable time filler, akin to Adam-12 in acting quality, but falling short of Hawaii 5-0 in terms of action. Conversely, there were harsh critics who deemed T.J. Hooker the worst cop show ever. They criticized the acting, writing, and directing, citing cliches, stiff performances, and one-dimensional villains. The only episode they appreciated was the one featuring Leonard Nimoy as a guest star. For this critic, the series epitomized the perceived shortcomings of the 80s. In summary, T.J. Hooker elicited a range of opinions, with some lauding its excitement and cast, while others found it lacking in various aspects. Each viewer brought their unique perspective to the table, resulting in a diverse array of reviews. T.J. Hooker, featuring William Shatner in the lead role, introduces viewers to a gritty portrayal of law enforcement in the early 80s. Interestingly, Shatner's character T.J. derives his initials from Thomas Jefferson, a departure from his renowned Captain Kirk persona in Star Trek. In both roles, Shatner's characters share a penchant for J and T initials. Uniform consistency defines the series, with Hooker and his fellow officers always donning long sleeve shirts, ties, and heavy jackets in colder weather. Notably absent are short sleeve shirts and uniform hats, presenting a distinctive, enduring look throughout the show's run. Unit numbers add a layer of realism to the narrative. Hooker and Romano operate as 4 Adam 30, while Corrigan and Sheridan are 4 Adam 16. The intricacies of LAPD's numbering system, elucidated in Adam 12, underscore the show's commitment to authenticity, linking it to real police divisions and stations across Los Angeles. The LAPD's unit types, ranging from two officer patrols to specialized divisions like narcotics and gangs, offer insight into the diverse challenges the characters face. The show, despite varied opinions on its quality, exhibits a commitment to reflecting authentic police procedures, similar to the iconic Adam-12. In essence, T.J. Hooker, despite its mixed reviews, maintains a distinct identity in the cop show landscape. The adherence to uniformity, realistic unit designations, and LAPD protocols add a layer of authenticity to the series that resonates with audiences. The show's uniqueness lies not just in its narrative, but in its commitment to portraying law enforcement realistically. Richard Hurd, despite appearances, is actually younger than William Shatner, who takes on the role of T.J. Hooker in this gritty portrayal of law enforcement. One unique detail about Hooker is the distinctive layout of his name badge. Unlike his fellow officers, he proudly displays both his first and middle initials before his last name. The choice of the name Hooker itself holds historical significance, paying homage to Civil War Union General Joseph Hooker. This subtle nod adds depth to the character and connects the show to a broader historical context. Uniform consistency is a defining feature of the series, with Hooker and his colleagues maintaining a sharp and enduring look throughout the show's run. 
The commitment to realism extends to the LAPD's unit numbering system, mirroring the intricacies seen in the iconic Atom 12 series. The unit numbers, such as 4 Atom 30 and 4 Atom 16, provide insight into the diverse challenges faced by the characters, ranging from routine patrols to specialized divisions like narcotics and gangs. While T.J. Hooker received a spectrum of reviews, it is evident that the show remains committed to authenticity, both in terms of character development and the portrayal of police procedures. The absence of short sleeve shirts and uniform hats, along with the adherence to LAPD protocols, distinguishes the series in the cop show landscape. In essence, T.J. Hooker, led by William Shatner's character, stands out not only for its narrative, but also for its dedication to authenticity, offering a unique perspective on law enforcement in the early 80s. In the realm of 1982 television, T.J. Hooker, a series led by William Shatner, made intentional choices in casting and portrayal. Standing at 5 feet 9 inches, Shatner's height dictated the selection of regular cast members, ensuring they matched or were shorter than him. Notably, taller guest stars were strategically filmed to downplay any height differences, maintaining a visual uniformity. Similar to its predecessor, SWAT, the show opted for a fictional police department, the LCPD, despite the evident connection to the LAPD through uniforms and patrol car designs. This decision allowed creative flexibility while still portraying an authentic law enforcement setting. The series maintained this consistency, differentiating it from the actual Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. When ABC dropped the series in 1985, CBS swooped in, incorporating it into its late-night lineup for the 1985-86 season. Although production officially ceased in the spring of 1986, CBS continued airing reruns until September 1987, coinciding with the debut of Star Trek The Next Generation. The commitment to visual uniformity extended beyond the cast to include the distinctive layout of name badges. Unlike colleagues, Hooker proudly displayed both his first and middle initials, connecting the character to historical significance. The choice of the name Hooker itself paid homage to Civil War Union General Joseph Hooker, adding depth to the character and grounding the series in a broader context. Throughout its run, the show adhered to LAPD's unit numbering system, mirroring the authenticity seen in Atom 12. Unit numbers like 4 Atom 30 and 4 Atom 16 provided insight into the character's diverse challenges, reflecting real police divisions in Los Angeles. Despite varied reviews, the series, led by Shatner's character, distinguished itself not only through its narrative, but also its commitment to authenticity in portraying law enforcement in the early 80s. In the gritty world of law enforcement portrayed in the 1982 television series T.J. Hooker, a peculiar detail stands out sunglasses are a rare sight. The exception lies in specific episodes featuring Ann Perry, the title character in Blind Justice, and T.J. Hooker himself in episodes like Bigfoot and Psychic Terror, where, interestingly, he's blind. It's a subtle yet distinctive aspect of the show's character portrayal. Another noteworthy quirk surfaces during high-octane pursuits or performance driving scenes involving Hooker and Romano. A 1977 Dodge Monaco, aging over five years since the series' debut, emits clouds of smoke from its tailpipe during acceleration. The aging patrol cars, surplus units from various police agencies, burned oil due to high mileage. Despite this, the LAPD had transitioned to newer vehicles like the Dodge Diplomat, Plymouth Grand Fury, Ford Crown Victoria, or Chevrolet Caprice by 1982, showcasing a discrepancy between the show's depiction and real-life police fleet evolution. Behind the scenes, creator Rick Husky held a firm belief in casting only one actor as T.J. Hooker William Shatner. This singular choice underscores the dedication to a specific vision for the character, further solidifying his place in the series. In the world of T.J. Hooker, authenticity takes precedence. The aging patrol cars and the absence of modern sunglasses align with the show's commitment to realism. The choice of William Shatner as the sole T.J. Hooker adds a layer of consistency, reflecting the creator's unwavering vision for the character. It's these subtle details, distinct from the common cop show tropes, that set the series apart, giving viewers a unique glimpse into the unconventional nuances of law enforcement in the early 80s.